Syracuse's finals, and he won the first half, getting that reset, but then lost to Wesley. Rio. We'll see if something different happens this time around. But then Wesley even has to get there. DB is looking amazing. But we might see a completely different dynamic with the Macho Man with Wesley and his play style. Now look at that grill right there. Tell me that isn't a glizzy. It's round. It looks round. Is it? It no, looks it's, round. It's not. It's not. You, you see the top of it that's like a different shade? That's flat. That's I don't definitely. know. It looks, it looks like it could be round. No, nah, that's right there. flat. That's, that's, not, that's not a hot dog. No way is that a hot dog. Well, going well, back to the their previous to set that they played of, uh, of, of DB versus uh, Wesley, it was a 3-0. Very much in Wesley's favor. Uh, all three games right in a row. Olgrim pick every game from Wesley. You saw DB started off with the Onyx pick and then swapped over to the Bren pick. So the Onyx didn't work before. I, we'll see if it works now after a big, strong opening last game. Ooh. I don't know if he's going to be able to carry that over here. Like, he, he has some pressure over here on the edge, but Wesley has such a gigantic lead here. It's not going to take much more for Wesley to find the knockout here. There you see the D-Light almost hits with that recovery. That surely would have been a knockout. Neutral Light's going to turn Wesley red. He went low. DB went high. Got the side air punish on the whiff neutral signature, and that's the stock. And good movement from DB, but it wasn't enough. Wesley trying to make his way back. Weapon throw is actually going to stop him out, I think. Oh, no, the recovery would have been enough, but a phenomenal down air. And a little bit of solidarity coming out with the Cape Ton as well. And I mean, Cape Ton looks so good, too. Dude, it is. I want, I want mine so bad, but I think you physically cannot get it this weekend just for how much time you need. It's like 20 hours. And we went like nine hours yesterday, and I don't think we're going to go 11 hours today, unfortunately. Well, we'll have to wait until next weekend. There is a plus side, and that is that this is going to be activated, you know, for every single tournament that comes up. So if you don't get it now, if you don't oh. get it the next two, oh my good lord. <laughs> DB with the, 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 the grill just at max heat right now. Just ten, set the dial to 11. This this heat is just blasting on Wesley right now, just putting him uh, in a danger zone, or close to the danger zone, the red zone. And Wesley... Having DB in the red, I mean, he's, he's not out of the woods just yet. Wesley's going to be looking for those KO options, that recovery off the top. Ooh, the grab not going to be enough, but there's the recovery, the return recovery from, or the return uh, uh, uppercut from Wesley not going to connect either. That would have been devastating. He's looking for, he's just constantly looking for uppercuts. There's the haymaker, though. Doesn't even need it. There's out Dang. the cape. He punished that raw with a side heavy? Yeah. Wesley now in the lead. Oh, yo. Oh, oh yo. no, 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 no. Wesley went for everything there. Oh, well, DB. beautifully spaces the side heavy from DB. DB trying to do the same thing back to him. Oh, this is dirty. Oh, oh he's he going under. under. He's going to have to fully oh. charge him. <laughs> <It's> like, okay. <laughs> oh, so, so that was that was definitely not necessary. He did not need to do that. That that felt really intentional. That was uh, kind of a bad idea because you saw he used everything to get under the stage, so he had to fully charge that. That gave DB all the time in the world to get into the right spot to punish that. Wesley on this final stock has a huge lead, though, so it's not like that made Ooh. such a huge difference, Ooh. but it could here. Here's some momentum starting to flow DB's way. Weapon throw. Oh, <gasps> you saw it right there. Did you see it? The meat? Did you see the meat? Right there. Just lay in there. When he threw it down, it hit the stage. It was right there. All right. Anyway, we'll have to not, try it again. Wait, he can dog. still get back. All right. He's not going to get back. The down air does try to get close, but the side air from Wesley is going to close it out. Game number one going the way of Wesley taking that down. Going into game number two, we're going to see if they ban this stage out again if they stay on that map. Nope. It's going to get banned right out of there, and they're going to leave. EB is going to leave Miami Dome, Small Enigma, and Crystal on there. It's going to be Crystal Temple, and we're going to see we're going to see a swap from DB to the Bryn. Yeah, he swapped in a little bit earlier than the last time they played. Before he swapped in Game Three, that means he went two Onyx games and then the Bryn game. This time, he's going to swap to Bryn immediately in Game Two after losing Game One. Uh, this looks like some whack movement. So, gonna need some time to stabilize that connection here. Oh, uh, I just got kicked out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But either way, yeah, I, I mean, we, we can discuss. Did. What we can do is we can discuss that Bryn pick. 
Because the Bryn pick overall, we saw Fiend do something similar, right? We saw Fiend get that Bryn pick, uh, basically the first game that he lost against Wesley. And that Bryn pick uh, allowed him to take that uh, Grand Finals down. Those signature moves being incredibly strong, uh, really disjointed compared to your Hurt Box. Being able to hit those Lance approaches, those down airs, those... Uh, those side airs as well, being able to outrange those is incredibly valuable. So there has to be something to this pick in this region specifically, I think. I think Wesley is probably, uh, like, we've seen, like, like we've seen from Fiend uh, over the past few years, uh, how he sort of dictated the meta previously, where people had to figure out how to play around his playstyle, where we saw Stardeath basically being the only person who could really slow down the momentum from Fiend and force him to play a different way. Uh, now we're seeing, I think, Wesley doing that same thing, where he is controlling the meta where people go up against him, they try their picks, maybe they don't work, and then they have to switch to something that they see as a counter pick. And I think right now they're seeing Bryn as that counter pick. We'll see if he's able to find this, because he didn't find the win before. Wesley was able to still take it out. I uh, didn't happen to catch uh, how close the game was because obviously that's not reported on smash gg and it was early enough in the bracket that it wasn't on stream because they only stream top four for south america so we don't know how close the game was after the brin switch the game that you just saw that we ended up getting kicked out of the lobby in that is completely null and void yeah it's a complete restart i mean any issues that happened there that was right at the beginning so just imagine it didn't even happen. We're here. Game number two, baby. Let's go. DB with the axe right now. Wesley with that lance. Trying to dash around. Trying to play uh, a little bit similar to Coslix, actually, I think. that we normally The way we normally see him play. He likes to utilize those lance dash movements to try to get uh, a lot of side light uh, startups, strings, or whatever you want to call it. They're spending a lot of time on the left side of the stage. <laughs> they oh really are. They've been over here for how long has the game been going? They've been over there for like 30 <laughs> seconds. They actually, There's the I, side signature from DB, and they're still over there. No I one think, really Oh, tries, tries the egg stage. drop. Oh, and he can't get back. DB even, or uh, Wesley even had that neutral air from the axe for the chase dodge, but couldn't make it back to the stage still. So DB had that KO, now trying to play around that corner, maybe try to avoid the hit. He is not able to get that weapon or avoid the hit, so he is going to get punished, and that is another stock gone, so it's pretty much even in the two to two stocks right now. Phenomenal spear skin, by the way. I love this one. Yeah, it's a good one. Shouts to John Cena. For bringing that ladder to the fight. Ooh, almost had the fadeaway side air, but Wesley was just out of range of that. Gets a great three-hit punish. Neutral sig Ooh. from DB, though, going hard with the gravity cancel side signature as well. DB with just a little bit of a lead. That might have led to the knockout. If he hit the side sig, that could have been a KO. That would have given him a phenomenal lead. Oh, good movement from DB. Nice down sig. Looking for the axe follow-up right now. Recovery off the top. Not going to find it. There's the neutral sig, though. That's going to do it, and that is going to be... Two to one in the stocks. DB with a sizable lead right now. Barely any damage taken. That's about 60, 70 damage maybe built up on DB. Uh, maybe 80 at the most. Uh, Wesley is going to have to find a lot more damage right now to bring this back to a much more even position. But DB, look for all this bonus damage. He's got a lot of room to try to work with. Now, if he lets Wesley get onto a run here, get some, let, lets Wesley get, you know, like a like a 3-4 damage read string, that could lead into such a big turnaround for Wesley. So DB has to... Oh, he's going to get punished. That is a lot of damage, though, built up on that last stock for Wesley. So I think that was a pretty successful stock overall. Now, that was like... I think Wesley just threw out like 30 nares and he maybe <laughs> hit one. And you know what? I respect that. Dion Waiters, shooting guard for the Lakers, said he'd rather go 0 and 30 than 0 and 9 because that meant that he lost confidence in himself. So Wesley had the confidence in himself that even though he missed almost every single one of those nares, he was going to keep <laughs> throwing them out. Wow. And with that confidence, he wins the game. Just brings it all the way back. Takes game number two there. And looked like DB was going to take that down handily. But nope. Just Chuck Testa. <laughs> <laughs> Final stock work being put in by Wesley. That's what the W in Wesley stands for is work. I mean, what 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 is the rest of the name? I mean, we got Wesley. We got W figured out. What, what does the E stand for? 
uh, look, you gotta. I can't give that all away now. That's we're gonna spread that out over the season. Got to keep people coming back <laughs> for more than just the rewards. That that's what comes after the Cape Taunt is the rest yeah. of what Wesley's name means. So yeah. it's, when you get to two thousand, <laughs> you get DM me on you, Twitter you e. at, two, at two thousand channel points, and it, it, uh, and and I'll tell you what the E stands for. I, I honestly thought you were gonna say DM part of the creed. It. <laughs> I should've, should've, that that would have been better because now I'm actually gonna get DMs about it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> DV with some really phenomenal spear plays, getting the spacing onto Wesley, trying to get the recovery, not gonna connect it as Wesley does make his way back to the stage. Down sig, very nice option from DB to confirm that hit, throwing Wesley. All the way across the stage, looking for that neutral stick. Not going to find it, and now uh, missing a couple more hits. But there it is. Down air into the jumping side air. is going to find that left side KO onto Wesley, getting that early, early first stock. Now, if I'm Wesley, I'm scared of these signatures that DB is using. He's using them so well. Even when he misses, Wesley's only finding, like, a one-hit punish, and then DB turns around and hits a SIG in, like, three or four seconds afterward. So he's able to get these early knockouts. He doesn't have to worry about the D-Light recovery on Spear. He doesn't have to worry about focusing on the rest of the Light Attack kit for the knockouts. Oh, there's a SIG from Wesley this time. It's the Ooh. neutral signature, follows it up, gets that side air for the knockout, and Wesley bringing this back, but he's still about uh, maybe 90 to 100 damage behind DB. There's a weapon spot coming in, sidelights Wesley away, picks up the ax, hits a side air. Over on the edge, Wesley goes for the big play for the gravity cancel neutral signature, and that is going to cost him his life. He didn't have the dodge, so DB was able to hit that dare and get the knockout. That was very, very high risk. Yeah, but DB playing absolutely explosively right now. Second stock in the yellow. And looking for that neutral, say, gravity cancel. Almost connects it onto Wesley. Wesley trying to get the neutral light uh, edge guard option. A very safe one, a very good option. DB does make his way back. Looks for the double neutral layer. Not going to connect the second one for even more damage. Wesley, ooh, almost going in onto Wesley with that recovery just charging up. I, he didn't get that weapon throw. Gets the dodge through on the lance throw. Ground pound off on the side doesn't only has the down air does make it back though And this is just back and forth in just absolutely brutal attacks on each other Landing on great strings great damage and great knockback, but they just keep surviving DB has the weapon advantage. This is huge for him. He has Wesley very red. Oh, Wesley disarms himself with that. It's an onstage ground pound from DB. The weapon toss almost perfect. Wesley dodges right through it. The D-Light, not enough to knock out on the top of Demon Island. Throws the weapon up. He's able to get back over and grab it even though it missed Wesley. Wesley has to play flawless. It ha it's got to be absolutely perfect here. It's looking like DB is going to grab this game and take the set back at least a little bit more towards his direction. Not in his favor as Wesley's already up 2-0, but this is what DB needs to keep himself Ooh. in this. Oh! Lands three reads in a row on the, Wesley, on the DB, but the weapon throw is going to turn it around just right there at the last second. That weapon throw just getting an absolute spike onto Wesley, and that is going... You confirm that KO on to Wesley taking game number three, and that is going to put him on the board. He was actually down, and if Wesley won that game, he would have gone back to the grand finals uh, to or gone up back back up to the top side to the grand finals to face off against Fiend. I'm having trouble finding my words there. These guys just stealing my breath away. But well, here TV we go. Game oh. is not struggling to find an answer to what Wesley has, this Bryn pick. This Bryn pick's working in his favor. Mm -hmm. See, before in their set, it was in game three, so he only had one game with Bryn. Now he's had multiple games with Bryn. He's got the Bryn warmed up, and he's feeling the Bryn against Wesley. I mean, I, I was talking about a little earlier. I think this Bryn pick is uh, something of a regional counterplay. I think they've sort of discussed this pick at some length at the very least, and they know that this Bryn pick is good at handling... Uh, Lance approaches, or at least the way that Wesley plays them. So we, oh, for a second there, I thought he was taking a long time. I thought he was going to be switching up characters, but nope, going to be sticking with the Macho Man. He has been playing it the entire time. So going now, DB versus Wesley, the Bryn pick versus the Macho Man once again. And we are going to be seeing where they end up this time. Apocalypse, Demon Island, and Crystal Temple all on the board. What do you think? 
I think we're going, uh, I would have said Apocalypse. We're going to Crystal Temple. Yeah, honestly, Apocalypse was looking like the move there, but it is a much smaller map. Maybe Wesley doesn't want um, that kind of limited play space. Maybe he wants something a little bit longer, but he likes the platforms. He doesn't want to go to Demon Island, where it's just one big uh, pancake, essentially. That's interesting, though. If that's true, uh, the last time they were on this map, they just stayed on the left side. And again, they were they immediately <laughs> go to the left side of this map. I don't know what it is about the left side, but they just really like that part of the map. Now they're going a little bit more towards the middle, but the previous game, they spent 30 seconds of the first I mean, moments the whole of it on the, the whole first the stock. stage. Insane. All right, Wesley looking for that slide charge neutral signal. Not going to connect it, though, and this is going to be Wesley with the approach. Uh, both players with axes right now, and then a nice three-piece into the recovery read. That's actually going to lead to a KO very early on DB. Very, uh, this is going to give Wesley a, an, an enormous lead here to start things off. This gives him so much room to make mistakes against DB. If um, he wants to try out different options, he doesn't have to worry. He can just sit back a little bit and uh, just throw moves out and not really worry too much about them. Now, if DB does end up finding a run here, a few big combo strings, that could cost him quite a bit. But... Right now, Wesley does have a pretty sizable lead, and all of this bonus damage, the stock extension, phenomenal. I literally already have DMs asking about the Ian Wesley, by the way. <laughs> I should have said to DM Creed. <laughs> I take it back. DM part of the Creed on Twitter. He knows. Oh, nice nair. Oh, Wesley just he barely got interrupted by the platform. Oh. He would have nailed that. That would have been the KO. Almost Is this going to be the opportunity for Wesley to go up two stocks now against DB? Ooh, that down signature from DB. He's been using that real well. That locks you in place for a long time. But he's been doing it, like, out of hit stun now a mm -hmm. couple times. He's already done it this game as well when he picked it up before. And it's, like, out of hit stun, so he'll mm -hmm. spot dodge. And that'll give him some iframes. And then, like, Wesley will be just enough in Ooh. front of him. And when he throws out the D-Sig, that'll pick up Wesley. That's actually kind of a solid move to use sometimes. But Wesley with the D-Light KO off the top continuing this massive lead that he has over db i mean wesley right now in the winning position this is db on his uh tournament stock remember this is the lower final the losers finals uh lower bracket if db is taken out right here oh and he goes for a very risky option side air though that is going to find that ko now it is just barely he would have clipped the bottom corner of that wall on the stage getting back db actually in a phenomenal position to take this back um, moving in to the center of the stage, trying to play that map position onto Wesley, going for that down sig, going to get punished right out by the neutral light. And, oh! I can't believe that D-Light didn't hit. I, I can't either, honestly. I thought he was going to pick him right up. Weapon throws coming out right now. This looks like a Wesley W right now. You remember what that W in Wesley means? Because I, I, I don't... Uh, yeah, I, I, oh, it stands for work. It means work. And he's putting in that work. He's Is he gonna putting get the in that work here? right now. He's up already 2-1 in the set. This is this, If he finds the KO on a DB right now, that work is going to be turning into a, a win. So maybe maybe there's two two meanings. But probably not. There's only one W. DB's finding some damage here. That weapon spawn is going to go right to Wesley. He's not going to be disarmed for too long. DB needs something here. It's do or die for him. Has Wesley in the orange. Wesley hasn't found a KO move yet. That Nair Ooh. getting him further into the orange. That neutral light. He's finding these whip oh. punishes. Has Wesley in the red. Oh, oh, he oh my it. god. He, he does did it. it. Wesley. Oh, I can't even believe it. Wesley thought he could charge up that recovery and be safe all the way over there. And DB came in <laughs> with the weapon toss. His weapon tosses have been so accurate. Even the ones that, like, haven't hit and Wesley has dodged through them, mm. like, they've been so close. Oh, my god! Look at this. Gosh. Look at this right here. Gets that side that side air through Wesley's side air. Gets the outranged spacing. And Holy. then the follow-up cross-map weapon throw. Perfect. Perfect from DB. And we are seeing... A swap from Wesley. I think this is the first time in a few tournaments that we've actually seen him do a legend swap off of the Macho Man. So this is going to be him moving moving over to the Black Knight. The Orion crossover skin. A whole different set of signature moves. A lot of people... Oh. 
I mean, what? What's the? Oh my God! Oh, what? Is Wesley! He took him from the left side to the right side. Now DB is still going in on it too. I'm still reeling from the comeback that DB had last game, and now this this game is almost even nuttier already right off the bat. Absolutely gross, and there's a slide charge neutral sig, a an Orion classic, something that you normally do pushing people off, trying to get that read back onto the stage. Typically when they try to go for a mid-high recovery back onto the stage, you go for that slide charge neutral sig. Phenomenal option there. DB finding the KO with the side sig. The uh the the, the spinny axe there. On to Wesley for that KO from the center of the map. Weapon throw, very oh. nice combo coming out from He's already DB. Yellow. That's brutal. He's already yellow. Weapon spawn goes in. Wesley actually delights away from it. DB's able to get up around, grab the weapon spawn. Like one more hit and Wesley's orange and he's found like next to nothing on DB. Bro, DB's just going in. He's oh just, my gosh. He's really just taking this to Wesley. Even after what we saw at the very beginning of this match where Wesley was basically just controlling the entire flow of the battle here. And now the neutral air coming out. Oh, another one coming out. That's a neutral sig. And oh, ground pound off the top. DB has the stock advantage, bringing this back from the very beginning. Is he actually going to do this right now? He's got Wesley on tournament stock. This is the previous, the summer champion from the last tournament from just about three weeks ago. We saw Wesley take things down. Or was it four weeks? I think it was actually four weeks. But Wesley right now really doing what he can to get this stock off of DB. But DB is just absolutely brutalizing Wesley in this match. And it looks like he is going to make it back to the stage. Weapon throw. Tries to hit the, the neutral sig. Not, it is going to con or not going to connect. But the punishment, finding that KO off onto the right side. DB, his stocks are all evened up. And Wesley actually didn't take too much damage in that last stock. So there's a lot of room for him to work with. But here we go. DB trying to finish this game off right now. He has the lead. DB, Axe in hand. Definitely going to have the matchup on his side. Playing Axe into Lance. Has the damage on his side as well. Oh, he can say, oh, he's disarmed now. He loses that axe, so he has to oh. get that weapon pickup. He's on the spear right now, but Wesley, oh. look how much damage he's building up right now. With DB having so much trouble getting this damage in neutral light, going to be following up. Is it going to be another neutral light off on the edge guard? No, it's going to be a neutral sig. Not going to connect it. It does hit grounded in the right position, so he, DB right. does have to be careful for that option. Oh, oh, neutral sig on the top, and DB does it! <laughs> didn't just do it he just hit the neutral signature we've seen a solid amount of orion played this year and we've seen so many different players fall prey <laughs> to that neutral signature on the lance db didn't get hit by like a single one and wesley was using them i don't think db got hit by a single signature whatsoever mm. from the orion pick oh think, my gosh no, there what was a comeback there were a couple neutral sigs that got hit. There was a slide charge one off the side that leading into a KO on a DB. Oh yeah, that's true. The first that's stock, true. and there yeah. I think there was a, 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 a like one or two others that didn't. There weren't KOs, but they were some pretty solid damage. Other than that, that was it. Uh, Wesley wasn't able.